What's up everyone? The Game Dojo here back with part 12 of the um the Shantae 7 Sirens playthrough, aka the finale. And the time for the fireworks on my end. Don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> Not a thing. Yeah, it was kinda low, so I didn't expect you guys here anyway. So yeah, so we um Well uh, Risky Boots had uh rose the towers up, we had to destroy him. And it turns out it was a freaking trick. And she uh she rose the freaking ship out the uh, out of the ground as a ship not only that ship was an island it's a ship in general pretty much yes so now so now we're in the uh, the, the not so wing fortress zone and some of you guys may know that when I went to my map a moment ago parts of the map was missing because the Torah is part of the um the, the siren fortress since it's a ship and all that was I won that time the fireworks. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, I remember in the, in the previous part, if you miss out any nuggets or a hard no, squids no. in the tour route, don't front because um you can still collect them by talking to the scientists in the entrance of it. <laughs> but yeah, I do love the um the fortress music. And don't worry, the fortress is not that tough as the one in the uh, the one in Pirates Curse. No, it's uh, it's pretty lengthy on what you gotta do, but uh, that it's it's appropriate for the final the dungeon. Yeah, it does have some garlands in it, like a few of them. Yeah, but not no bullshit room. We have to use your freaking scimitar dash to run on spikes <laughs> and jump at the right time. Well, that part sure yes. <laughs> that part, that part was the hardest. Oh, baby. <laughs> Oh, you said don't revive me. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, sorry, I was a little sleepy. Yeah, you don't you don't need to use your le your electricity for that part. Just you can use your um your your uh your turtle dash ability and dash new and double jump. Yeah, those guys thought they, they died one hit with the uh, with the turtle spin, tortoise spin. All right, that's the guy I was talking about. But don't worry, it's, it's nowhere as bad as the one in uh, Dungeon 5. You can take as much time as you want. Oh yeah, of course, there's no timer out there, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, Quake is your best friend because it kills the lobsters in, uh, in two hits. Or Red Lobster. Yeah, we watched the, 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 the no Nintendo pun video. <laughs> The one with Gratilda kinda had me. Hey, can you stop grunting? The moment I saw the moment I heard grunting, I heard I, I knew Gratilda was gonna show up. <laughs> she was also one of my favorite uh, antagonists. <laughs> yeah. She was alright except for being annoying with the freaking rhymes. Yeah. She did have a funny plot in the first game where she she didn't, like the, she, didn't, she didn't like the way how she looks, so she she kidnapped Banjo's sister so she can steal her looks. So she can be beautiful. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she, she, she wanna be sexy, you know? <laughs> if you get a game over, if, she, if you do get a game over, she does look sexy. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time I could tell be a rifle material. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And the noises she makes when she talks. <laughs> even Mobile Jumbo fell for her. <laughs> and not to mention that, um, according to the Swashing book, um, Gratilla was the main reason why Mobile's head became a skull. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing they forgot about that plot in the second game. <laughs> Hell, I kind of forgot about it. Because <laughs> he. Yeah, cause Momo Jump, he wasn't, he, yeah, he was once human, but, but Gratilla just changed his head to a skull. <laughs> yeah, I was playing the arcade today. Play some pinball, raged at it. Oh yeah, if you want to reset the, uh, the map in this dungeon, I mean, it, it's not too hard to reset because you're pretty, you're pretty, you're pretty much going everywhere. And does anyway. I mean, there's no secret rooms or anything. 
Oh yeah, but not, not for this there is now. Yeah, it's all straightforward. Ah, <sighs> gotta love that music. We are not too hard. Oh, this one is kind of is, but not too, not too, not too challenging. Yeah, I even get this far. I even get this far in the last race. I got as far as uh as to destroying the towers. It's mainly because there are times where I keep I keep figuring where I had where I had to go. And yes, I knew. Yes, I knew. Wasting time going for that hard squid kind of costed me, especially when you speed run it. Uh, depends, yeah, you know, maybe. Yeah, cause that first hard squid, it's like in the uh, like on the left side of the East Island before you uh, go to the first dungeon. <laughs> right. Yeah. Do I love having more health on my health bar? You know. Ah, time to play some Mega Man X6 is a uh, Metal Shark player level. <laughs> ah, remember that game with X6? <laughs> Especially X7. <laughs> yeah, I was watching that video not so long ago. We was laughing at the bad voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> it it's just healing up, cause why not? You want you want to play again with bad voice acting? Play House of the Dead too. Yeah, their voice acting is uh, it's not really the best. It's, it's bad, cool. good, and funny at the same time. Yeah. This is our final blow. <laughs> Don't come. Don't come. <laughs> Get away from me. And go to number two. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you're supposed to chase Risky Boots since she's behind every day. Like, who saw that comment? <laughs> Looks like it stopped raining. All right. Yeah, this this beginner's trap there, so watch out. All right, so pretty soon we can get to we can get to to a uh, to a Donkey Kong Country segment. <laughs> okay, that was Rick just did. So do that at your own risk. I love how that one Emmy used that fish as a bazooka. But yeah, we saw those enemies before during the escape sequence back in the deep sea domain. So yeah, I can't believe summer just started today. Not that I'm complaining. I'd rather get hot than cold. If I get a car one day, I'm probably going to try to Ocean City, but we'll see though. That would be nice. Well, she's going to have a car on, it's always nice to see travel around by yourself. Yeah, unfortunately, me getting a car can have to wait. It does cost, cost money to get one, but uh... Yeah, more than the PS5. <laughs> well, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, I might as get the PS5 first out the way. Every month I'll be trying to get a PS5, but I keep failing. Double the fan anyone. See, if I have money for the PS5, it's sold out. But, um, when I don't have, when I don't have enough money for it, they're everywhere. No, just trying to keep working. I just wish people would stop buying the PS5 and, and give me a chance to buy the PS5. <laughs> People are trying to get it too. You know, exclude scalpers. Yeah. 
Yeah, I heard again. I heard buying a PS5 from the scalp is a ripoff. Cause I heard if you try to buy a scalp, you, you're not going to get it. You will get you won't get another package. You won't get signed up with, instead of a PS5. Clearly, yeah. Uh, it's just best to just get order a line of the of the stores or Amazon at least. Yeah. Or at least sure enough you'll be able to get it. But you gotta be on the yeah yeah you, you gotta be on that fucking site like there's no tomorrow. Cause the other day I was on freaking um I was on Best Buy right? Or was it was it no it was on Best Buy. <laughs> The digital was in stock, right? I watched. They, they said they said they said it's gonna be in restock around three o'clock. I went on that site three p.m. and it said come back at three at three ten. Literally, I did that. Come back at three twenty. At three eighteen, sold out. I was actually checking on a little earlier than maybe. Shoot, I tried going there a little earlier, but the thing is, if you try going earlier, it's gonna say things like this, this arm will be in, this, this arm will be stocked with at a certain time. Like you literally gotta be on that site like three o'clock on the dot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. This is what this is why this is why I say um. Re-releasing I me mean, not re-releasing shit. What I'm talking about releasing the PS5 console. What's a what's a bad idea in 2020? They could have waited until the thing. They could have waited until this whole pandemic shit had calmed down. That's just me though. Alright, that's the only kind of stuff I was talking about, by the way. Not too hard though. Alright, so we're getting near to the final bout. Yeah, this thought it wasn't that long. Oh yeah, and Pyro's Curse and the Final Dungeon Pyro's Curse, you, you can skip the uh, Final Dungeon. I've done it before and it's kind of hard to do. Yeah, it can't be. Yeah, your yeah, risky uh, cannon is required. And our final boss door. And the teleport is a shortcut. Alright, ready for an interesting uh, cutscene? Wait, the mayor? Hey, you're the final boss. <laughs> you're the mayor. You're the boss. Get it? He's the boss. The boss. <laughs> Hang on, mayor. I'm coming. I gotta save you, but first I need to capture you in this cage. Oh shoot. Uh oh. Oh. You know that voice? <laughs> in that laugh? Well, well, the mayor can have a feminine voice, and yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay, man. This, I, I gotta be honest with you. When I first played this, this shit blew my fucking mind. Just like how, just like how that scene in uh, Detroit Become Human blew Ross's mind the other day. <laughs> okay, now the right tops of disguise was predictable, but not this. No. Oh yeah, this one actually a nice shot that Risky did. I will give her credit for that one. Although she may have, the mayor may have made a slip up and been a little shady when you talk to him sometimes, but then, but then go any further details that he could betray you. Yeah, that's how hidden, that's how hidden this plot twist was. What, yeah. what was your reaction, Raza? I mean, yeah, you know, the, well, the first time I played this, yeah, I was a little shocked at the Risky, hi uh, there, by the way. Uh, that Risky uh, was actually the mayor this whole time. It is no mayor. And this. Of, uh, old hack, which is the other sign written. Oh, yeah, you guys, you guys ready for the up here more thousand year door plot? <laughs> Wait, thousand year door plot? Yeah, thank Grotus and Shadow Queen. Risky will be Grotus. And that old head will be, uh, Shadow Queen. Well, Shadow Queen just got kind of used to body. <laughs> no, I was referring to, I was referring to when Gora set the Queen free, she pretty much betrayed her. Betrayed him. Oh, of course. You can't listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. 
Oh shoot. Oh, just give me a minute here, I gotta crawl over here and yo, tell you something. I have a better <laughs> idea. Yeah, this definitely got some three more thousand you door vibes in it. Eh. Treachery! Yeah, what I tell you, she sets her free and she betrays her. This is Groas and Shadow Queen all over again. Well, she had killed Groat. Well, actually, no, Groat was still alive. It was just a uh, head. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh she's a, she's a waifu material. How does that say reflect? Say why do you still have sexy too? Shoot, look look at the look at the freaking uh, the dust the dust bosses in Silver the Moon. They're sexy as hell, and they're the villains. Hey, but then it looks like a giant shrimp. Well, part shrimp, part siren. So long, Empress Siren. Do you have to trample her like that? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Risky's more Risky's getting trampled. The stampede. That'd be easier to play, damn it. <laughs> you can use any uh, transformation you want. It's your choice. You can well, use Seer, and it kills them. Getting right. Steer actually could kill them. <laughs> yes. I also find it hard to believe that that could work. It does, that. I tried it. Go. Doing a three heart run? You should try to flush. Have a gear to see that. <laughs> yep, that kills him too. What the fuck? Man, yeah. Yeah, she has a lot of HP, by the way. Like 9,999. I'm just guessing, by the way. I doubt that, but yeah, she does have a lot of HP overall as a final boss. So, oh, makes sense. Try doing this shit on a 3 heart one on magic mode, like I did. Well, not magic mode, but I did do a 3 heart one of this. Oh my god, I added you some 3 auto potions on that, on that, this boss particularly. Cause my uh, god, she you... takes forever to freaking die! Well, final boss. I don't care. <laughs> It, it, had a lot of HP, so quit bitching. And the fact that you can't even see your health bar. All trying to take games have been like that. Oh my god, just imagine they brought the mouse back in, in the Seven Cyrus. <laughs> and you had to uh beat the Siren chick with your mouse only. That would have sucked so hard. That's do enough damage and then when you feel you're close enough, then do you just head. Dude, I did as a mouse I did as a mouse throughout the whole entire fight, and my god it took forever. That was your fault for doing that, making it more difficult yourself. I, I was doing the I was doing the play is safe. What? You should have just did a good amount of damage with the one cycle did go for me. I mean, look at look at Rissy's revenge, right? Where you had to kill the first boss with the uh, thunder move, right? If I attack the boss, if I attack the boss normally, then be with thunder, the trophy's not going to count. That wouldn't been that bad. Yeah, that, 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 like I said, that's why I decided to play is safe. By fighting her fight about ten minutes, and he has just an ass only. That that that's smart. Yes. What the only one damage per tick. Yes. As I said, it goes off forever. Asicus. <laughs> Addy's sure. a bunch of healing aisles for that. Ay ay ay. You got the strategy, sir. That's how you do things. That strategy. <laughs> So yeah, Luigi's got to show to do it himself. Then when I found out that uh, that wasn't the case, I was like, shit. There we go. Whew. Yeah, first phase down. You know, when, when it's a final boss, it's always a second or a third phase. Mm, that's true. I wonder what Empress Sour be in Smash Ultimate. Face your doom. Her right there, the Empress Siren chick. I don't think so. Maybe a sister be probably, but uh, I don't think uh, she be as a new, uh, new character. Uchi Mama, hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely wife of Materia. That did surprise me. She just like, become huge. That's a lot of fireworks out there. Oh, what did you see yourself? 
Uh, so you said waifu materia. I know. Oh. As a materi as a uh, material from Final Fantasy. You know that shit you be collected. No. <laughs> we'll go waifu material. Materia as a fi yeah Final Fantasy. <laughs> I said material. <laughs> We're not counting Final Fantasy Seven. No. <laughs> Don't count. So anyway, well, well, Pete, well, Celtics is in Final Fantasy movie there. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta destroy the parts on, uh, the Siren's body. That's yes. why they still active in damage. Yeah. And I do- In or anywhere else, it's not gonna do a damn thing, or that, it's that big time next time. And Scimitar's your best friend. Yeah, the Scimitar's will definitely help a lot. <laughs> I love this music right here. It's all right. Wait, once you destroy the the uh, on the 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 bands on her legs and her uh, arms, then it'll move it up to where you just have to focus on the the head of the, her head and everything. Yes. You know, I just realized that bracelet she be wearing. It's like she's in prison. Like she got all cuffed up and shit. And what you really think about it, we're setting her free, yeah? I guess so, yeah. So we're doing the right thing by killing the chick. <laughs> Alright, the shoulder, the shoulders, the uh, shoulder pads there, it's good for that shit. Dude, I freaking love her face, and no pupils. I dig it. <laughs> well, she is the, well, the queen of sirens, so. Yeah. She is the strongest one of the bunch. Yeah, I was surprised how huge she was. And you thought maybe boss was this freaking huge? <laughs> I got over points. <laughs> That's also bigger than Ian Murphy, by the way. Yeah, or her too. Which I also approve too. Everyone's favorite waifu. And we did prove for sure. And that played the sunbathing lady? White from materia, material. Thank you. Yeah. Get your face to get your facts straight. <laughs> yeah, I recently uploaded the uh, the Hell House uh, fight on my on my channel. That's a fun ass boss fight. Oh yeah, uh, there's some Bobbis Pit in this uh, fight. You fall in the pit, you bounce right out. Pretty much. Now you can just focus on the crown. The earrings and then the the bead on her head. <laughs> You're definitely not worthy to wear that crown. <laughs> she's no she's no longer the queen. That crown is no good. Now you gotta go for the earrings. See, you would think all that shit is possessing her. No, it's just a power source. But that, right, that's I not the case. Guess, <laughs> I would guess it's probably a power source uh, with the handbells. Now for the last bit in her head. Oh shoot. She's pulling off this uh this freaking I wanna be the guy shit when you fight the guy. He's flying around the laser. I will crush your tiny bones. Yes, I did have kid. Yes, I did have suck with your mother. <laughs> what what did she both have you so? When did the guy become the kid? <laughs> no, I was watching uh, Empress. <laughs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> give me a break of that be said kick kick for. <laughs> I love those candy bars by the way, and Empress been defeated. Yeah, kick kick bar. Yeah. are good. She oh. And she's drunk back. Yeah, you can't trust can't trust someone yeah, like Risky Boots. Still speak. Everyone, listen. It's time to take your All right, I'm gonna say right now, it's a good thing that Risky uh Ronnie Tops came along when she got captured. Yeah. <laughs> and all the gold that's the actual have GPs, not Roddy, because that was a mistake. Yes. Once you think about it, Roddy was also the hero. Oh, right, it's that though. <laughs> I say again, that hip swinging. 
Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> She's shaking her booty. Her sloppy booty. Oh, <laughs> no, you weren't invincible. You only had four out of five. <laughs> the last way you could say it was uh, Rotten to the Core. <laughs> Rotten to the Core? Oh my oh. god. Wow, I forgot Shante said that actually. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> This build didn't work. Uh, I don't think Risky lied. I don't. I didn't, I didn't think she had no idea. Bye. Call me. Not in your old form, by the way. <laughs> no, uh, in the afterlife. <laughs> Ask Hayes to bring her back. You know the Disney Hades. <laughs> That should, yeah, from all the fighting we've been doing. <laughs> yep, let's go. What will you do? I'll nail that egg, man. Put him out of commission. Yeah, can't wait for see here. You gotta save her. Before it's too late. Yeah, in case I make another Shantae game. I understand. And hopefully, there, there should be a mission where we, we, we can find Shantae's mother. I want that plot to happen, god damn it. That's fair, everyone does. Where's Shantae? Do you think she's... Okay, this ain't the cutscene I'm thinking about. It's the one, like, shortly. Sounds like... Yeah, there's one more after this. Yeah. You know what's funny? <laughs> Risky was using my waifu in Pirate's Curse. <laughs> I think I don't know. <laughs> Yep, Shantae, you made it. You didn't say that in sex, uh, bowl, but... Oh, oh my god, Sky! Really? She's not gonna thank Shantae? She usually don't get all the right talk. Goofy. God damn it, Sora! <laughs> Prancer, Dancer, Connor... Sky! <laughs> Bolo! Roddy Tops! Get your filthy hands off me! My hands yeah, not yeah, on you! you. Risky, We're not even near you. Happy you're okay. Just imagine Shantae hugs um uh the risky boots. He probably uh stubber away after that. Like when Crash did the cortex. <laughs> <laughs> sure you were. So apparently, Risky Boots was pretty much the good guy all along. Well, he was trying to use the uh, head genes, though, to, um, for that siren, but it didn't work out yet. No. Oh my goodness. All this was misunderstood, dude. <laughs> that pose. Uh, yeah, it kind it kind of does in a way, risk or uh, Roddy. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of worry. You kind of worry here over this one. So you could get yourself a ship. Yep, she wanted a ship all this time. I ain't turned that to you. You know she has a fetish with ships, you know. No kidding there. Uh, uh it's uh, uh, destroyed. <laughs> Back under the sea again. So selfish. Yeah, I mean, ho hope you got insurance on that ship. <laughs> uh, y'all kind of did on Pirate's Curse. Here we go. Tricks are for kids. But then again, they kind of did with the team here. As I mentioned, Risky Boot was was kind of playing the good guy in a way. She was the anti-hero, pretty much. Yeah. But seriously, she did work as a team in Pirate's Curse because her her mentor betrayed her. Extra hot. Oh, okay, so you want it to be as hot as a lot as a volcano? Gotcha, Risky. <laughs> well, you said Risky, so too late. <laughs> Should you think? No, not at all. I won't be having somebody destroy my car. <laughs> Like shit. Oh, shit. Well, no shit. All that money you gotta pay for your damaged car? Shit, all that money's going down the fucking drain. <laughs> Come on. 
Let's do it. I could use vacation. Sure, Roddy. Sure. <laughs> And a one, a two, a one, two, three. <laughs> the day was saved. Yeah, it's trying to say saying all this. It was time to return home. I know how that feeling. Last life could seem. Yeah, this is the funny one. This is what I was thinking about earlier. Yeah, this one was hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, she she didn't talk at all in this one. Here needs your help to rebuild. So always do your very best. Happy <laughs> hopeful. Before you go, here. She sounds so cute you. though. What's this? Your mother's scrapbook. I can't accept that. There's no scraps in my scrapbook. <laughs> Safe travels. <laughs> oh shit. Just go already. Can you at least give her a moment? She's trying to say goodbye. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch it, watch it, watch this. This <laughs> 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 is why I love scratch me up when that happened. I guess Guy <laughs> and uh, Ryan didn't learn their lesson since uh, Friends to the End. Scott <laughs> didn't know one thing that happened to her all that, and she was just thinking about that. <laughs> Freaking ball gets kicked, uh, get kicked in the face. <laughs> he was just trying to break it up. <laughs> All right, that's a lot of music. So that's it for Shantae and Seven Sirens. So my thoughts on this game? Well, it's kind of hard for me to say this is this is better than uh, Pirates Curse. I honestly think Pirates Curse and this is my top favorite. Only because it's placed in the uh, Metroidvania style, where you go into certain dungeons, get the key, get some heart squids, get four of them, get an extra heart container, or heart holder, or you want to call it. But yeah, those, those are my type of gimmicks, and, and yes, I do love the plot in this game. It has some funny moments, and the plot twist with the uh, <laughs> Risky being the mayor really had me. But the one with Riot Top's one, which be, which became a uh, which pretends to be a uh, a half genie, was predictable. Fill in the blank. Wait, what? Sandra Mobis apparently works as somebody in this game. Oh, I didn't see his name in the credits. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess game nine out of nine out of ten. I mean, what I wish it really did. I know our our. our I know I explained this during the playthrough, but um, you know when you find certain items like uh, like hard squids and nuggets, I kind of wish they um they place on your map and you collect them if you want to make the game that freaking huge. The map, I mean. Well, well, this is this is this this was this this really is a fun game, and I remember being hyped for this game when they announced it on Twitter that Way Four had tweeted. But a little downside, we still don't know what happened to Shantae's mother. I mean. They were kind of hyping. They was kind of hyping it out in this game. Then it just brushed it off, just like that. Like, come on, man. Y'all did that same shit with um that dude off of, uh the Evil Within. Damn, I forgot that fucker's name. Not Sebastian, but he's the main character. But yeah, y'all catch my trap. <laughs> you didn't get a thought to her. Love yeah. All time. All right, Rasa. Well, you know we got. 25 seconds either, you'll probably... I can already extend it, so, that. yeah. You're gonna have to know that. Um, yeah, I, I did enjoy 7 times too. It was really fun. I did enjoy it quite a bit. Um, trying to get the 100% was a little tough, because you had to find the statues and everything. I will... Uh, the statues don't... It's not required to uh, the hummus in the game. Well, only collecting the nuggets and uh, hard squids. Well, either way, that was still a pain to do, in my opinion, but... It's still my favorite, probably be my second favorite. I know Pirates Curse is something so fair, but I'm still a fan of the half genie hero bit overall <laughs> myself. Yeah, but they didn't bring the Dungeons um, back in that one. Um man, yeah, great game though, great story too, and it was nice to see someone else being the main attack risky for once, so <laughs> that was fine too. Yup. 
But yeah, good game overall. I'm hoping, yeah, they will do some of Shanti's mother soon, maybe. So we can hope for the best, and uh, we'll see what happens. I think she got and, captured. Uh, uh, last CBSO? Indeed. This is a nice game. This is actually the only Shanti game I've actually ever played, but... <laughs> Yeah, awesome game. And by the way, apparently uh, Xander and Boba's voices, both Uncle Mimic and the Mayor. Uncle oh. Mimic and the Mayor? Wow, they even sound like him, but okay. Uncle Mimic was my did not expect, but okay, nice. Yeah, he voiced the Uvio <laughs> in V2. And also does a Smash, uh, or the, the voiceover of Smash Ultimate. Yup. The announcer. I can't wait for Kasuya. Anyway, I can't wait to end this part. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough, and uh, and I do got a new playthrough ready. So we guys are looking forward to it. So till then, later, folks. Later. Later. <laughs>